perform the following find the signed q15 representation of 0.16 and convert q15 signed numbers to decimal here to q15 representation numbers are given we supposed to convert them into decimal and here we supposed to find the signed q15 representation of decimal number 0.16 first let me consider this example so to convert the given number into signed q15 representation we supposed to multiply this 0.16 repeatedly by 2 15 times that is first note down the number that is 0.16 it should be multiplied by 2 let me count here this is first time so when we multiply 0.16 into 2 it gives the product as 0.32 so here this zero supposed to be written as carry this zero supposed to be written as carry now consider the uh, decimal point now consider the fraction value that is 0.32 that is 0.32 again multiplied by 2 this is second time so the result will be 0.64 now write this zero here this will be the carry now consider 0 0.64 0 0.64 into 2 this is third time so multiplying 0 0.64 with 2 it gives 1.28 write this one here so now consider only fraction part that is 0 0.28 into 2 this is fourth time the result will be 0 0.56 this zero supposed to be written here so here it is 0 0.56 into 2 it use 1.12 this one supposed to be written here as carry so this is fifth time sixth time now consider 0 0.12 only we have to take fraction part that is 0 0.12 into 2 that is 0 0.24 this 0 supposed to be written here next is 0 0.24 into 2 it gives 0 0.48 write this 0 here so now consider 0 0.48 into 2 it gives 0 0.96 write this 0 here now consider 0 0.96 into 2 it gives 1.92 this one will be written here the remaining fraction part is 0 0.92 into 2 so it gives 1.84 this one should be written here so this is 7th time, 8th time, 9th time, 10th times, 11th time that is 0 0.84 into 2. It gives 1.68. This one should be written here. Now consider only fraction part that is 0 0.68 into 2. It gives 1.36. This one should be written here. Now we have 0 0.36 into 2 that is 0 0.72 0 should be written here that is 0 0.72 into 2 we will get 1.44 this one should be written here next we have 0 0.44 into 2 it gives 0 0.88 this 0 should be written here. So it should be multiplied 15 times. Once we can multiply 15 times, we have to stop. So now we have to consider only carry values from top to bottom, which is nothing but the Q15 representation of 0 0.16. That is now let me write the result. So therefore we can write 0 0.16 is equal to we have 0010 0, 0, 0, that is 0, 0, one zero one zero 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 one one zero 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 one 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 zero one 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 zero next we have one zero that is one 
0. So now here we have to consider 0 point. As the number is positive, we have to write here 0, 0 point this value. So this is the required answer. Now let me consider this. Convert Q15 sign numbers to decimal. Let me consider this number first. Here we can see that this number is 0. It indicates that the number is positive. After the decimal point, the position values will be varies like this. That is the position value of this number is minus 1. This is minus 2. This is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13 and this one is minus 14. So to get the decimal value of this, we have to multiply this number that is 1 into this is 2 power minus 1 plus next these all values will be 0. When you multiply 0 with any number it will be 0. Directly we will consider this that is 1 into here its position value is minus 5 that is 2 power minus 5 plus then we have 1 into 2 power minus 6 plus this one is 1 into 2 power minus 7 plus 1 into 2 power minus 8 plus I will ignore this because it is 0 then we have 1 into 2 power minus 10 this is 1 into 2 power minus 11 plus 0 0 it will be 0 only then we have 1 into 2 power minus 14. So now let me simplify this. So adding these all it gives 0 0.5610012. 0, so this is the decimal representation of the given number. Now we will try to find the decimal equivalent of this Q15 number. Here this number is 1. It indicates that the number is negative. The number is negative. So in that case, first we have to take 2's complement of this number. So now take 2's complement of this number. That is taking 2's complement of above number. So as we know 2's complement can be calculated as 1's complement plus 1. So 1's complement of this number is 0 0.0010 that is each 1 is replaced by 0 and 0 by 1. So here it is 1, 0, 0, 0. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is 0, 1. 0, 1. Add 1 will get 2's complement. So this 1 plus 1 is 0, this is 1, 1, rest all numbers will be same, that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, point 0. So this is the result, now we have to take, we have to convert this into decimal. So again we have to follow the same method that we have done here, we have to consider the position values, multiply considering the base 2 and multiply with that number. So here we can see that this is minus 1, minus 2, this will be minus 3, that is 1 into 2 power minus 3 plus this will be minus 4, this will be minus 5, 1 into 2 power minus 5, this is 6, 7, 8. So here it is 1 into 2 power minus 9 plus 1 into 2 power minus 10 this will be plus 1 into 2 power minus 11 this will be plus 1 into 2 power minus 12 this will be plus 1 into 2 power minus 13 and this will be 1 into 2 power minus 14 simplifying this we will get 0 0.1600 093. So after writing this, as I said, this number is negative. We have to write minus here. So this is the decimal equivalent of this number, which is negative. Thank you for watching.